In the farthest corner of Kenya, sandwiched between two other countries, Somalia and Ethiopia, lies Mandera County. A county full of resilient people surviving the harshest consequences of climate change. According to the 2019 population census, the county has a population of 867,000 457 people. The main economic activity is pastoralism that is often affected by unreliable rainfall, leading to long spells of drought, posing a risk to the economic backbone of the residents. Globally, education is considered the key to success, yet for many, the cost is a major barrier. We explore and highlight the transformative potential of free secondary education and the impacts it's creating in the lives of Mandera residents. With the ravaging drought, having the residents strive to put a meal on the table, school fees has become a luxury. Consequently, increasing the number of school dropouts due to lack of school fees. According to a survey done by Save the Children, at the end of 2022 in northeastern counties, Mandera had the highest number of school dropouts with 295,470 students, followed by Garissa, 289,410, and Wajir, 266,540. While residents were hanging at the edge of a thin thread of hope, almost giving up on everything but survival, their Redeemer, His Excellency the Governor Mohammed Adhan Khalif, came to their rescue. <music> Governor Khalif launched the Elimu Kwawote Initiative, impacting lives in ways that cannot be put into words. Today's event marked the official launch of the 2022-2023 Mandera County was refund of Kenya shillings, 350 million Kenya shillings. The bursary fund will be primarily cover the secondary school fees for all the students in the 59 government secondary schools in Mandera County. The launch of Olimuko Wote Initiative marked a turning point in the lives of many residents who are eagerly waiting for a sign of hope. The initiative provides free education to over 22,000 students in 59 government secondary schools across the county. Determined to showcase the impact of this program, we embarked on a journey across the county to meet some of the beneficiaries. As we delve deeper into the issue of free education, let's take a closer look at the experiences of one particular student whose story shed light on the challenges many young people face in pursuing their educational dreams. Abdurrahman Abdi's story exemplifies the harsh realities faced by the pastoralist community. Abdi had to drop out of school in Form 1 and take up a job as a border border rider to make ends meet since he couldn't afford school fees. He worked as a rider for five years until he got a chance to return to school. Abdi is currently in his classroom pursuing his education. <laughs> Alafu unasikia nilisikia shule ni firi mheshimiwa governor mheshimiwa governor nilisema shule ni firi alafu nilirudi kwa class yangu niliendelea msomo yangu Like Abdurrahman several other students across the county dropped out of school due to lack of fees and embarked on doing other jobs such as hairdressing and house helps among others to make ends meet and almost giving up on the educational journey due to poverty. Fortunately, the Ilimu Kawate Initiative has rekindled their dreams even after being out of school for several years. Kule nilitoka shule kwa kwa sababu ya kukosa karo ya shule. Nikaenda nikajifunza kazi ya saloni, ambapo nilienda kufanya kazi ya saloni ya mtu mwingine ili nipati ma, ma, ili nipati pesa yangu ya siku ili nijinunulie vitu, vitu vya kukula. Nilikosa 
Nagashaka Yedin, Kandum Gavanan can share a better can enough in Duba, Gavanan can Duba is Gulit Bazari, is Guli, Free Luchenani, a man and Duba Cassin is Landed, a Haraduma uniform with it, a Cassin Duba, and the Taraman Ramu de Gis, Ramugas Gis. Mostly these are uh, students who used to drop out of uh, school because here people don't value education a lot and children are just drop out of school. They involve themselves in these motorbike businesses. Some of them look after after animals. So I think uh, the buzzer improved on the enrollment. The absolute poverty level of Mandera County remains one of the highest in the country. This, coupled with cyclic and devastating drought, leaves the residents spending their little resources on most basic needs, pushing education expenses on the periphery. This is Banisa Sub County. Meet Mohammed Isak Hassan. Having completed his primary education in 2020, he couldn't proceed to secondary school due to lack of fees. Isak comes from poor background and his parents couldn't afford school uniform. In such cases, sometimes the community intervenes. In this case, the ward administrator extended her hand to support Abdi's return to school. He has now joined Form 1 at Banisa Mixed Day Secondary School as a beneficiary of a Limuko Water Initiative. If he could have not launched this bad free education, most of the students were, would have been uh, a dropout of the school. In a scenario, a guy who completed 2019 primary education, so I encourage him also to go to school, where I took him to a shop. I bought for him all uniform and the learning materials, and now he's schooling in Banisa Mix Secondary School. I was primary school in 2019. I was in my house, and I was in my house, and I was in my house, and I was in the parents are mostly grateful for the bursary since they could hardly afford basic needs. Gurba gurba ki yadat, ba diajir orij alugala ma toktis. Wani raba sinundam, wani raba sinundam na ba dia origal, origal e gan nagasi gatai gan is agasi gatai. Is gula referi thana gurba ki simu thale gurba ka kene de gurba kan tar menga berjir. Is school free? Then, uniform is to be made, book is to be made. Is school gate? Galatisa, Galatika isa. Ma 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 da da kalif. Galatisa ambadin. Is school can free no touch. Several other students share the same predicament as Isaac, but the free secondary education has been a game changer for them. My middle school, 2017. My little one, I got to Mumbai. Cause Baba is school free. I was in school in Nifiri, and I was in Babango, and I was in Russia school, and I was in Form 1. I was in school in 2021, the whole of 2022, I was in school fee, and I was in school fee. At the time I was in school, I was in school, and 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 I was in school. I completed my primary in 2021 but could not join high school because of lack of fees. This time I was lucky enough to, to benefit from, from the free secondary. We have quite some of the students who have run away from the school dropout because of lack of fee. I remember the situation last year where we had one of the bright students in our class has just dropped out of the school because of lack of fee. In reaching their home, the home, the parents are not better in terms of payment of the school fee to bring the lady back to the school to continue with her education. She decided at home, but when we interrogated and then sent someone to bring her back to the school, uh, it happens that the parent declined, saying that the little contribution that was paid to the school by other students like similar condition with that of their family, being poor or others being often, he said that it is unfortunate that my child cannot join the school and consume the similar food that was contributed by the poor people. We have three students, I think two students completed in 2020, 
one student completed in uh, 2021. Uh, they joined the school this year. Uh, the parents were saying that uh, due to lack of fees, they were not able to take their kids to schools. Now, because of the bursary, the Mandela County bursary, uh, they have now decided to take their kids to the boarding school. The parents are mostly grateful for the bursary since they could hardly afford basic needs. The implementation of Elimuka Water Initiative has been a huge relief to thousands of parents and guardians across the county. This is a, it's a landmark story, especially at this trying moment for this region. The serious drought that has been there for the last three years and people are really affected. I'm sure everybody was worried what will happen when the schools open. So honestly and sincerely, we thank the county government for stepping in. <laughs> Kabarka de Jolewan is Gula Gesa Dabal. Kailmanto Colin is Gula Huda Dabit. Lono Bani, Heno Bate, Galio Bae, Duba and Namuan Galat de Bisufi, Gafna Mandera, Mahmada Dan Khalif, Kaini Ijole is Gula Mandera, County of Mutai Rafu. For Ahia Ile. Bazari ambaye governor ametoa kwa Mandera County. Shule wa Mandera County Secondary kuanzia form 1 paka form 4 tumefurahia sana kwa sababu sisi wakina mama siku hizi hakuna kazi. Mtu kama mimi zamani nauza maziwa na maziwa hakuna ukame ndio mkoa mingi. Kama hiyo sio hiyo bazari nafikiri watu wengi leo hawatabeleka watoto yao shule kwa sababu ya karo ya shule. Uwe maskini, uwe tajiri, uwe na mnagani, wote wanafaidika na basari ya Mandela County. Hiyo ni mzuri sana. Zamani 10% pekaka ni tunapata basari. Lakini saa hii leo, 100% wa Mandela County yote wanapata basari. In light of the current economic situation for pastoralists, people seize every opportunity that comes their way. For instance, Rahma Abdi, a student of Haji Yusuf Girls Secondary School in Takaba, walks 14 kilometers from her home to school and back in order to take advantage of the free education offered. With her father sick and bedridden, she stays with her aunt. The aunt took the girl in so she could continue with her education. <laughs> So ni kaka nyumbani mwaka moja. Hiyo mwaka wa elfu mbili, shirini na mbili, nilikaa nyumbani kwa sababu ya ukusofu ya pesa. Sasa tulibarikiwa na serikali ya yetu ya kaunti yetu, nikasikia shule, shule yenyo ilifanyu wa bure. So ni karudi, shule saini na nilianza, katika kidati cha kwanza Rahma Abdiroba na Rera City Abani sile na Mwajel kiti agana agana nuga dabar school ma barai mare obasite marka guyani sino basite amanta na magana toko rajani atoka guyasu ni ti farmala mane dube se sin daktoni jirtu abani sile nda idini saguda isile na manta na nama qarqaru dan dayumiti أنا قرقرة دي قفود أنا سينا كان من برجر تمان ده نما كاونتين تنيو يعني سقول فريت وشدة محمد هذا نقليف ربي مقدان سلة جاسين نافي. According to Mr. Harun Malim, who is the principal of Haji Yusuf Girls Secondary School, there is a significant improvement in terms of enrollment and a reduction in the rate of dropout. He attributes this to a Limuko Water Initiative. Initially, there are quite a good number of students who are just at home doing some odd chores and therefore from the point of view of uh, girls education it has really had a positive impact 
In most schools across the county, the enrollment rate has more than doubled with both parents and students eager to take advantage of the bursary program. The number of students have risen. Uh, for example, in yesterday years, we used to receive a, a maximum of 100 students, in, especially in Form 1. Uh, but nowadays, because of this initiative, I think uh, the number has doubled. Now we have 180 uh, Form 1s. The number that was uh, given to us by the ministry, it was around 382. Uh, the total enrollment for Form 1 now is 481. Uh, so that is, uh, we have uh, surpassed the number that the ministry has already given us. So that shows that the enrollment is also growing. We used to get around 170, 180 for months. As I talk to you in our school right now, we have admitted 260 for months. Last year, our for months, there are 650 for months, that's uh, eight class. Uh, this time we got uh, uh, 900, uh, 890 students because of the free uh, uh, education, free bursary. I think many parents requested, uh, wanted their children to be in the Mandela Secondary School, which is a boarding school. In our school alone, they were, the enrollment has increased. This year we have admitted uh, uh, many Form 1 students compared to the previous years. In addition, uh, we have received a good number of students, over or close to 100 students who came on transfer. This is a positive thing and uh, I expect also to help in the performance finally due to the fact that the period the learner will be out of school is reduced. It's a question of students just reporting class learning starts immediately. However, the high enrollment in schools has had its fair share of challenges. And uh, the capacity of the dorms is also very limited and they cannot uh, hold all those numbers of the students. In fact, for Form 1, this year we received almost uh, 150 and uh, the dorms out of 150 almost uh, 80% of those students were boarding. Because of the population, we lack classes. In, a, in one class, the population is almost like 80 to 90, and we are squeezed. The teacher cannot pass from one place up to the last bench. In Mandera East, we met Tina, a student from Nairobi Kamkunji constituency, who is one of the many beneficiaries of the Bursary Initiative. Tina's mother, who lives and works in Mandera East, was relieved of the school fees burden and immediately took advantage of the initiative. With free secondary education for her daughter and reduced distance between mother and child, the bursary has helped to strengthen their family bond. Mimi nilikuwa na soma shule ya Nairobi, shule ambayo inaitwa Rabai Road Primary School. Nimekuja hapa county ya Mandera kusoma katika shule ya Moi Girls. Ilikuwa ni changamoto ya wazazi wangu kuwa na kare ya shule, lakini na mshukuru mungu kwa kutupea hii nafasi. Na tuashukuru governor wetu wa county ya Mandera na abarikiwe sana. In addition to Tina's story, we also have other inspiring stories from students who have transferred and benefited from Elimu Kwa Water Initiative. Let's take a look at their experiences. I was supposed to do KCSE in the year 2022, where I was studying in Nakuru, a school called uh, Molo Academy. But I couldn't complete my fourth year, my Form 4 studies, due to lack of fees. Uh, my parents were struggling to pay fees. I studied for Form 4 Term 1, but somewhere in the middle, we were chased for, to go and bring back school fees, and uh, I never came back to school because the fee was not available. I stayed out for that whole year. I went to towns and uh, looked for small, small jobs. I got, uh, I got a job in one of the shops where they sell clothes. Uh, they, gave me, they used to give me 5,000 a month. 
So I had given up with uh, I had given up with my dream in school. Uh, my previous school was Karoti Girls High School in Kirinyaga County. I came here for free education. The school I was currently in, I used to pay 48,000. But now here, I'm glad to the governor, Mohammed Adan Khalif, that he has, he has enabled me to get free education. I finished my primary education in Wajia Primary School. And I came to Mandera Secondary School for education. The government of Mandera County gave us a free bursary on education. Nimetoka katika shule ya upili ya Our Lady of Mercy. Nilivo kipini nilivo skia kuna bursary na tunalipiwa shule kwa ukweli wa zazi wangu alifurai sana. Mine and Ilikwana Pitia Changa Moto Mingi Sana. I joined this school this year from Afra High School at Nakuru. I joined this school because of the Elim Kawote Bazar scheme by Excellence Muhammad Adam Khalif. My parents had a challenge in paying school fees and had to transfer me to my home county school for, in order to benefit from this noble initiative. As a government of Mandera, we expect to achieve the following with our full payment of the bursary. We expect no dropout for students in all secondary schools within Mandera County since the fees have been paid. We expect improvement in performance. We will have access to education. For example, when we went around, we found out that those students who have left the schools four or five years ago have came back to secondary schools for education. And finally, there is an increase in enrollment in secondary schools in Mandera County. We have visited some few schools. For example, formal admission in Mandera Secondary Schools, Mandera Secondary School, Mandera Boys, which is a national school in Mandera County, have admitted in formal alone 890 students. Moy Girls, which is another national school in Mandera County, have admitted 481 students in formal alone. Lafay Boys have admitted 112 students in Form 1. Ramodimtu Boys have admitted 269 students in Form 1. Living Girls Secondary School in Ramodimtu have admitted 143 students in Form 1, second, in Form 1 alone. Takawa Girls Secondary School have admitted 243 students. So from our observation, we have found out that the enrollment of secondary schools have increased. Others who have, been neg who have not been able to go to school due to lack of fees have also reported back to school. And uh, we have already paid fees for 23,399 students in first term. Mandela County government, through His Excellency Mohammed Adam Khalif, have kept their promise of paying secondary school student fees for all secondary students in Mandera County. So far, there's no, no dropout. No student has been chased from schools. Students' admission is going on all secondary schools within Mandera County without any parent paying a single shilling. And the county government have taken up that initiative of paying for all the students through the initiative of Elimu Kawote. It is evident that free education is a critical tool in addressing poverty and improving the lives of communities. The Elimuka Water Initiative is a powerful example of how education can empower individuals and transform the entire community. By investing in education, we can now break down barriers and provide opportunities for all.